So the world's biggest and best science agencies have come out and done their calculations, and they said 2023 was the hottest year on record by far. Quarter degree warm, a quarter degree Fahrenheit warmer than the previous record in 2016. That, you know, that's, that's all well and good. Those are numbers. But numbers don't really tell the story. What really tells the story is what it means to you and I because a few tenths of a degree doesn't really seem that important. It is, though, because with every tenth of a degree, you get wilder weather. And in the United States, we certainly did. Last year, NOAA counted 28 weather disasters that cost at least a billion dollars. That's a record, by far. It blew away the previous record of 22. In the 1980s, we used to have three of those a year. In the 1996 a year, now we're having 28 a year. They're floods, they're hurricanes, they're droughts, they're wildfires, um, and all sorts of other storms. And that's as, because as the world warms, the weather gets crazier. Things get more intense. The heat gets more intense, the droughts get more intense, the rain gets more intense, the flooding gets more intense. While the major factor in the warming that we've seen is the general greenhouse gases that we, that we put in the atmosphere through the burning of coal, oil, and natural gas, that's man-made, human-caused warming. That is by far most of the warming we've seen, by far. But maybe a, a couple tenths of a degree Fahrenheit, scientists say, came from El Nino. El Nino is the natural temporary condition of the Central Pacific, warms a bit, it changes weather worldwide. And the El Nino started last year, and it's, getting, it's actually hitting its peak just about now in the next month or two. We talked to dozens of scientists about this. Many of them think we're looking at an even warmer year in 2024, and they worry that what we're starting to see is global warming accelerating, that we are going up an escalator of global warming. We have natural variances that go up and down, like taking a step up and down an escalator, but we just suddenly took a big jump up the escalator, and we may be in a new regime of worsening and wild weather. We won't know for a few more months whether we just went through a crazy year that was a natural, weird, freak year, or where, whether we're in for a new era of worsening warming.